If you purchase the fully assembled CNC plotter kit from ShopmakerQ.com, you will receive a box like this with a fully assembled machine inside. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up the machine and how to install the software and start drawing. All the links to download the software will be in the video description. All softwares are open source and completely free to download. First, we have to install the Arduino IDE software. We are installing Arduino IDE to get the board driver. Next, we have to download the Universal G Code Center. After downloading, extract the zip file. Open the folder. Open bin folder. This is where we open the application. Create a shortcut, then cut and paste it onto the desktop. In this way, we don't have to always go to this folder to open this software. Now install the Inkscape. You have to be careful here. Do not install the latest version of Inkscape, the version we have to install is 0.92. So click on this 0.92. Now we can see it's showing 0.92. Download and install Inkscape. Installation is completed, click on Finish. This will automatically open the Inkscape. Now we have to add two extensions. Link to download this extension zip file will be in the video description. Click on Download. Extract this zip file. Open the folder, copy all the files in the folder. Then right-click on the Inkscape and open File Location, Share, Extension. Paste it here. Click on replace the file in the destination. Now let's open the Inkscape. Now you can see the Forza Draw Tool and KM Laser extension here. Before we import an image, I will show you how to change the page size. Click on Files. Document Properties. You can change the width and height of the page here. The default page size will be A4. After that close it. Now import an image to Inkscape and let's draw an outline of it. The image doesn't have to be black and white, we can import a color image as well. To convert the image to a path, right click on the image and click on trace bitmap. Tick the live preview. Here you can increase the threshold if needed. Click OK and close it. Now we have one image and one path. Delete the original image. If you don't know which one is the original image, use this path tool and select the image with it. You can see that it's showing nodes on it, which means this is the path. Now select the other one, it's not showing any nodes, which means it's the original image. Use the selection tool selected and deleted. Bring it to the page and resize it, press Ctrl while resizing for uniform scaling. To export as G-code, click on the extension. For Zidraw tools. Generate pen. You have to change some values here. We only have to do this once. After that, it will be saved. In this, change the pen servo down command to M05. Drawing speed to 10,000. Servo up angle to 80. Servo down angle to 0. Delay to 0 0.1. Now just create a new folder somewhere. This will be the folder to which the G-code will be exported. Open the folder. Copy the directory of the folder and paste it into the directory column. You can change the name here, but don't change the .g-code at the end. Then click apply and the code will be generated. Now you can see that the G-code file that we created in the folder. Now connect the adapter and USB cable to the computer. Open the Universal G-code Center. Close the Windows page. Click on Refresh. And click here. In my case, it's showing three ports. If it's showing more than one port, we have to find the correct port of the machine. Try to connect each port one by one. First, let's select the first one and click on connect. You can see here it is showing offline it means that we have connected the wrong port. And there is another method to find the correct port. Disconnect the USB cable. Click on refresh. Now we can see that there are only two ports, COM52 and 51. Connect USB cable. And click on the refresh. You can see that COM5 came, which means that's the port of the machine. Select it and click on connect. 
Now it's showing idle here. Which means the machine is connected. Now manually move the machine to this position. Set the step size I to 10. Sir the feed rate to 10,000. Clicking Y plus will move the Y axis. X plus move the X axis. Click on return 0 to bring the machine back to the 0 position. Return to 0 moves the machine to the 0 position. And this is reset 0, clicking this will set the current position of the machine to 0 position. If you don't understand what this means, just click reset 0 every time before start drawing. Now let's see how to move the pen holder up and down. In the command column, type M03, S80 and press enter to raise the pen holder. Type M05, S10 and press enter to lower the pen. Place the book or paper under the machine like this. Before placing the pen on the pen holder we have to raise the pen holder. Enter M03, S80. Place the pen half a centimeter from the book. And tight the screw to hold the pen in place. Now open the G code which we created earlier. Click on send to start drawing. Now you can see that it's drawing the outline. You can pause the machine by clicking this pause icon. You can resume by clicking here. You can pause and resume the machine by clicking these two buttons as well. Now let's draw the same image with shading. Import the image, right click and trace bitmap. Delete the original image. After this go to 4 Zidraw tool. Hatch fill. Change these values. Hatch spacing is the spacing of the shading. You can play with these values to get different styles of shading. Click on apply. If the image is very large this will take few minutes. Select the image and export it as G-code. Click apply. If it's a large image with lots of shading you have to wait for a few minutes to complete the export. Now open the G-code in Universal G-code Center. Click on send. Because we entered very small hatch spacing, shading will be very dark. All of these drawings are generated with the same method. Now let's try the same with slightly larger shading spacing. I'm going to enter 2.5 in the hatch spacing. You can see the difference here. Now let's do some single stroke writing. Use the text tool and click and drag like this. We can type the text here. Or copy and paste the text. Select and adjust the font size if needed. Click on the extension. KM Laser. Convert Hershey text. Tick the live preview. Different fonts are available here. Select the one you want from this. I'm going to select this font. Single stroke cursive letter. Click on apply and close it. Select it and export the G code. Open the G code in the Universal G code sender. Reset zero and send. Now let's do text with outline. Type the text and change the font size. Select the text, click on path. Object to path. This will create the outline. Now let's do the same with shading. Select the text, click on path. Object to path. After this go to 4 Zidraw tool. Hatch fill. 
In this one I'm giving the hatch spacing 2.5. Let's do it again, but this time with hatch spacing of 0 0.5. 0 0.5 hatch spacing gives darker shading. Let's do another one with single stroke text. Click on the extension. KM Laser. Convert Hershey text. Tick the live preview. Different fonts are available here. Select the one you want from this. Click on Apply and close it. Let's put a borderline. Use this tool for that. Presses Shift for straight line. Drag and select all of it. Export the G code. Open the G code in the Universal G code center. Reset 0 and send. Now let's see how to create a signature. Import an image of the signature to the Inkscape. Select this tool and draw over it. After the drawing is done use the selection tool and deletes the image. Select the signature and export the G-code. Open the G-code and send. Now let's see how to convert image to this type of drawing. For that, we have to install processing software. Click on download. Select Windows. Extract the zip file. We don't have to do anything with this. Now you have to download this zip file. The link to download this will be in the video description. Extract it. Open the folder. Create a shortcut of this file. Copy and paste this shortcut to the desktop. Double click and open it. Close this window. Click on Run. Now you have to select the image we want to draw. And click on Open. Press Y on the keyboard. Shift plus less than, reduce the shading. Shift plus greater than, increase the shading. Press P for the different styles of drawing. Pressing P again will give another style. To export the SVG file press G. Now the SVG file will be exported to the G code folder. Go to this folder again. This is the G-Code folder. You can see the exported SVG file here. Now we have to bring the SVG file to Inkscape. Resize the image and make it fit on the page. Select the image and go to Path. Object to Path. Next, go to Extension. Generate Pen Servo and export the G-Code. Now open the G-Code in G-Code Center. Reset 0 and click Send. This is the default drawing position. If you want to draw a right on the other side of the book, open Universal G-Code Center and connect the machine. Click on Machine. Firmware Settings. You have to change this value to 1 and press Enter then click on Save. This will reverse the X and Y axis. Now place the machine like this and start drawing. These values are for calibrating the machine. This can be also useful for scaling the image size. When you change it, you have to change all 3x, y, z with the same value. 
To change the speed of the machine, change the acceleration. Let's change the acceleration from 800 to 2000. When you change you have to change all three. This will increase the speed. After entering the value click on save and close it. In the next video, I will show you how to draw multicolored images.